Hi at all, this is the National Master Alessandro Santagati. Uh, Dihar Duki sent me a game that he played with black and now I got to analyze it. Okay, we can begin the analysis about the game. So e4, c6, so Karo can defend and white played a3. Okay, this move is not common because usually when we play the opening, we follow the attention about the center and about the development and this move can tell for it. So it's a mistake uh, because this move don't tell is for the center, is for the uh, development. Okay, black pair d5 is correct, e5. Okay, so now the black idea can be make pressure against this pawn e5 and he played g6. Yes, this move I think is correct because the idea can be play bishop g7 to make pressure. Another good option could be after e5, play c5. And this move can help to make pressure because after that you stop d4 and you can play knight c6, queen c7 to make pressure against this pawn. So I think it's better playing this way. But g6 is not a mistake. Okay, d4, bishop g7 and now c3. Okay, now c5 is interesting. Another interesting option can be f6 to attack immediately the pawn e5. Because if f4, you can play knight h6, knight f5, and you can have a good development after that. So I think uh, it can be a good position for you. Okay, you play the c5, bishop to e3, and you take the pawn, is okay. Knight to c6, correct. Queen d2, and then queen b6. Probably again, you can play f6 to attack e5, and with the idea that after f4, knight h6, knight f5, the position is nice, because in this kind of position, you have the problem about where to develop the knight, and f5 is a good square. So, you play the queen b6, knight f3, and now knight a5. Oh yeah, I think knight a5 is a mistake because, okay, the idea is take d3 or take c4, but after knight a5, if the white play well, can play uh, queen b4, and then, for example, after the trade, I can take, and my pawn can go forward, I think, to b5. And um, in this kind of position, the white has no big problem because after this move, I can move the king, and the king now is not weak because without the queens in the game, uh, the queen on d2 is okay. And uh, after that, I will play in c3. The white has a good game, so I don't like uh, this position for black. I think it's easier play for black now bishop g4 because if the idea is make pressure against d4, uh, bishop g4 can be good. So knight a5, queen c2, bishop f5, and now I think bishop d3. Oh, yeah, the white has to play bishop d3. Uh, queen c3. I don't like it because... Uh, because probably we can try to play this move and uh, simply we attack the rook and we attack the knight. So if rook a2 we take the knight on b1. So yes, the, the moon knight, knight b3 can win immediately. So... Uh, Rook c8 was a mistake for this reason because again queen b4 is possible. And now, okay, now it was a mistake because after that the white has the same problem, and now the white is winning. So sorry, now the black is winning because now the white has the same problem and the black has a winning position. Uh, king f8 and uh, okay, the black takes the rook and the black can win the game. But um, now the white probably after knight b3 can try to play uh, bishop b5 first and uh, for example uh, now okay now if king d8 king f8 the white can take the knight so after bishop b5 the black has to play this and and uh, uh, can solve the problem because after this move the black can take the piece but it's a trade so not a problem for um, for white now so yes my tip for the future is that when you play the caracan and when the white play five 
Focus attention about the variation with c5. Because you can attack immediately the pawn and uh, you have a easy development. If you want to play with the variation g6, you must remember that in this kind of position, you must develop the knight and f5 can be good. So the idea is make pressure with f6 and then knight h6, knight f5. And you can castle on the king side. Okay, thank you for the attention. It's all for this video. Bye.